News Talk 1340, KROCAN. The following segment is sponsored by the Gwaltney Group of REMAX Results. Robin Gwaltney joins us this morning on KROC via the telephone. Hello, Robin. Good morning. Another great weekend in the upper Midwest. It is. Yeah. Beautiful. All right. Would you uh, going to talk about you had uh, a client who had uh, an episode? Well, yeah. So to speak. You know, it's, what I always try to tell people is when you need um, service done at your home, I think it's really important that you get recommendations. And as a realtor, I always tell my clients, "I'm here for you forever." So just because the sale is gone and you've moved in, doesn't mean you should take me out of your phone, okay? Because if you have any questions regarding your house at all, I want to help you. So I had a client who just recently had a problem with their air conditioner. So instead of calling me, they called a company, and I won't name the company, but it was a company who advertised a lot. And so they called and they thought, oh, they were so nice. We'll get them out here. And then they were told that their air conditioner is shot. And oh, by the way, so is your furnace. And for $10,000, we can put in a new air conditioning and a new furnace. Mm-hmm. And, of course, then he was disappointed. Oh, yeah. And he called me, right? I mean, that's not that's very disheartening. So then he called me and said, oh, my gosh, you know, is there anything that the sellers would be responsible for? Or is this all on me? And I said, well, first of all, um, you know, what is going on and who did you call? And I said, can we get a second recommendation? second recommendation because ten thousand dollars even if you do have to get a new furnace that's a lot and of money. air conditioning yeah seems like a lot sure, you sure know does. it seems high it seems like a high bid so i said could i send you somebody that i recommend somebody that i've used many times somebody that i know will take good care of you and he's like yes of course so i sent that person over turns out that it was a five hundred dollar repair a motherboard or something like that anyway um, air conditioning works great. There's nothing wrong with the furnace. No mm. need, no need for ten thousand dollar replacement of both. But it's it's tough when people will upsell you. Yeah. And you know, I'm not saying that there's a lot of bad businesses out there. And maybe that person honestly thought that needed that. But what I am saying is there are a lot of quality companies that we can refer because we know they've taken care of. You know, we know they've taken care of other customers and have done a good job for them and that they're honest and can be trusted. Would something like this be covered under some kind of a little insurance thing you, you the home sign warranty. up for? The home yeah. warranty, mm-hmm. yeah. Yes, if, you've, if the sellers have purchased a home warranty for you, and, you know, it used to be as buyer's agents, Rich, we would always ask the seller, you know, pay this 500 bucks and provide this home warranty for the buyer. Mm-hmm. So if anything goes kaput that first year, they've got, you know, they've got you covered. Well, now when you're in multiple offers and you're competing yeah. and there's all kinds of people writing, if you're the person asking for that home warranty and nobody else is, guess what? Yeah. You're, you're probably not going to get your offer picked. But we can still, as the buyer's agent, provide that home warranty for them. Or another thing is, when I have somebody listing a house, I a lot of times will tell them, you might want to invest in the home warranty because it starts to cover you the day you list your house. So if anything should go wrong right before the sale or, you know, come up in the inspection that you were unaware of, then the home warranty can save the seller as well. In this particular That's incident, yeah, and in this particular incident that you referred to, if there was a home warranty, the homeowner probably would have said, "Sure, fine, that sounds good to me." Right, and it exactly. would have been a ten thousand dollar new furnace and air conditioner, and the insurance company would have been stuck with it. Exactly, exactly. So, I mean, it definitely is a good thing. But you know, I guess my point of of today's message is. Use your realtor as a resource Mm -hmm. because we are familiar with the contractors and the companies, and we do have relationships with service providers in all different industries. So certainly I tell my buyers at closing, if anything comes up or you need me or you need recommendation for a handyman or you decide to do any remodeling or anything, just call me because I've got names and numbers for you and I'm always happy to help. Yeah, 
Very good. Yeah, I was uh, reading uh, some information earlier this morning about uh, especially young buyers, millennials, are more likely to buy a home sight unseen. Yeah, that isn't that crazy. Mm-hmm. Let's just hope they're working with an agent that they trust. I've sold a lot of houses sight unseen, a lot of them. And I'm, when I'm saying a lot, I mean over my career, I've probably done it 20 times. And it's worked out well? Every single time That's so far. That's very good. <laughs> but I've certainly seen the house. The buyer has. Yeah. <laughs> I've been through it. I've been there with the inspector, you know, that kind of thing. Oh, so. it's a little different. I mean, they got 3D pictures now available in some right, instances. Right, and it's so not, yes. Plus, yes. you the can tell if I they've been it, recently done. Right. The first time I did it, I actually, this was this tells you how long ago it was. It was a little house out in Byron, and my client was out, out of the state. Well, mm-hmm. I don't know where he was. I don't remember. But I went there, took pictures with my camera, took him to Walmart for one-hour development, yeah. overnighted it to him. <laughs> and this was like, who really high-tech. Yeah, so it was. Funny. It was that was you, you felt Time pretty proud changed. of yourself at that point. Right, exactly. Nowadays, funny. you can do that in all in about uh, one in 30 minutes. Yeah, they can just put the Counting the drive in. time. Yeah, you can put the address in and you can see the yard. You sure. See the, you know, yeah, whatever. Yeah. Pretty awesome. Very good. Well, if somebody needs a good realtor and wants to get a hold of you at the Gwaltney Group, how do they do that, Robin? Certainly, I always welcome phone calls, and my cell phone is always on. That number is 507-259-4926. And, of course, our website is available, and that is gwaltneygroup.com. Very good. You have a wonderful week, and we'll talk to you next Monday.